Welcome to an exploration of the celestial hierarchy. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of angels, these divine beings who, despite their different roles and ranks, share a common purpose, to assist and guide us. They are patient, forgiving, and have a perspective that transcends our mortal timeline. Let's dive into the nine distinct categories of angels. 1. Seraphim. Seraphim means the fiery ones. It is the plural of the word seraph. These angels are mentioned in the Bible as having faces, hands and feet. Each seraph has six wings, four of which they use to cover themselves in the presence of God as a sign of humility, they use the other two to fly. They cry out, holy, 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 and appear to worship God continuously. They are often depicted in religious art. These are the angels who are closest to God. They encircle his throne and emit an intense, fiery light representing his love. Seraphim are considered fiery serpents, and not even the other divine beings may look at them. There are only four of them, and each has four faces. When they come to earth, they leave their serpent appearance behind, preferring tall, thin, clean-cut human embodiments. 2. Cherubim. These angels are the keepers of celestial records and hold the knowledge of God. They are sent to earth with great tasks, such as expelling humankind from the Garden of Eden. Ancient art depicts cherubim as sphinx-like, winged creatures with human faces, not the fat babies with wings that now grace greeting cards and book covers. 3. Thrones. These angels are possibly the most unusual in appearance, often described as bright wheels with many eyes. They serve as God's chariot, dispensing his judgment and executing his plans for us. 4. Dominions or Dominations. The angels in the second group can exist in a state of transition between the celestial and human worlds. They are considered heavenly governors, attempting to strike a balance between matter and spirit, good and bad. Think of dominions as middle management. They receive orders from seraphim and cherubim, then dish out duties to the worker bee angels of the lower orders. 5. E virtues. Shaped like sparks of light, virtues are in charge of maintaining the natural world, and they inspire living things in areas such as science. They also take orders from the angels above and convert them into miracles for the deserving. When they make themselves known to us in their earthly forms, they are musicians, artists, healers and scientists who work with the power of love, as well as physics. The two angels at the ascension of Jesus are believed to have been virtues. 6. E powers. These angels serve as border guards between heaven and earth. They are birth and death angels, and some believe they also rule over demons aiming to destroy the world. In their celestial forms, powers appear like brightly colored, hazy fumes. Powers are border patrol agents between heaven and earth. They are the angels of birth and death. 7. Principalities. These celestial beings monitor everything. They govern our entire globe, including nations, cities, and villages, and oversee religion and politics. 8. Archangels. These, along with the angels, are guardians of people and all things physical. But don't call on them to help you personally, archangels respond best when dealing with matters involving all humankind, such as justice. This order is most commonly known because some are mentioned by name in the Bible, Michael, Gabriel and Raphael. Archangels engage in spiritual warfare by fighting against demons e.g. Michael or bring messages from God, such as when Gabriel came to Mary to tell her that she was going to be the mother of Jesus. It is believed there are only seven archangels. 9. Angels. These might just be called, regular angels. They are guardians of people and all things physical and are the most common type of angels. These angels are sent as messengers to humanity. Personal guardian angels come from this category. Angels may protect and warn humans, as well as act as warriors on behalf of God. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. To support our content, consider joining our membership. Stay tuned for more intriguing content.